chat. We're here to teach a whole new generation of Magic the Gathering players that Tarmogoyf has been outclassed. We've got some one mana discard spells. We've got some interaction. We've got some tireless tracker for some card advantage. We've got some fable of the mirror breaker for an enchantment slash card selection. We got city stalker and Vrasco guard queen at the top end of our curve. We're explicitly not playing some of the other slightly better four mana planeswalkers like Chandra and Sorin because I want to make room for Wellspring and Chandra and Sorin were only double colored cards. What I want to think about throughout the set is Wellspring worth it or would I rather have something like Chandra or Sorin in my in my four slots. So let's go ahead and pop on into some historic matches with this and uh, see how it feels. able to play creature lands i mean we had creature lands i just cut them we're more we're more so not playing creature lands so we can play fabled passage more so than not playing creature lands for a third color Look at that shit. Just like we drew it up. All right, look at our big, beautiful one, two for two. Yeah, there could definitely be a, a Dragon Rage Chandler. Goyf something or other. Maybe Junder Teamer. Bone Crusher being a stomp that doesn't, a uh, removal spell that doesn't go to the bins a little sad. I don't know what they're doing with Goblet Electromancer chat, but that card's got to be a kill on sight. All right. All right. Show me what you're working with here. All right, my goyfs are four fives. Yeah, teamer goyf with ledger shredder and Darcy, sure. Goyf doesn't even have trample, it does not. Untapped lands. It. It's time to step out of the shadow. You want it gone? Consider it done. Okay, our four fives look pretty good this game, champ. Our, our four fives seemed kind of okay. Oh, they get to vengeance us a bunch and draw a bunch of cards here, huh? I suppose there's a world where we're dead here. Hey, 
eight. Two shots to the Doom Blade. Extra removal spells seem good. Instant speed, especially. Charm is probably a little slow. This is probably a little slow. Um, being able to attack their graveyard is probably fine. They're playing things that flashback and uh, invoke. I don't have time for a city stalker connoisseur. Let's try, let's try this. Yeah, I think anybody that even like remotely uses their graveyard lanterns like, okay against. in that. The sand's pretty good. That's really cute with their cost reducers. It always makes me chuckle when someone pipes up on one of my threads complaining about an arena bug, letting me know that they think Magic Online is so much better. It's like, this, this conversation is not going to go the way you think it's going to go, bud. Magic Magic Arena has got a lot of faults, but I've logged thousands of hours on Moto 2 and it's much worse in many ways, which is why we don't play that anymore on this channel. More more power to the people that find joy in that, but I am not one of them. Of course, Wall of Roots is still broken. It's only been broken since January of 2016. You know, maybe I'm supposed to discard the Fable to get the enchantment there. I don't know why it's still broken. I've typed that bug report into my opponent's timer a dozen times. get to go off a little bit next turn.
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. That's eleven. We are one damage short of lethal here, I think. Because I could have killed this to get... Uh, oh, this is opponent's controls. Never mind. Alright, I actually need to run to the restroom really quick. I'm going to let my opponent do their turn while I do that. Beer, beer. Did we die? Right, and then they have the invoke to recast it as well. We'll save them the, the clicking through it. Target dummy for the gods. Thank you for the 29 months. Like, yeah, that was perfect. Perfect bathroom timer, chip. I think I'm happy with how I boarded. Let's just run it back and went on the play. Or one. We were one one turn short of killing them and we were on the draw. This is like a real non-rotating format now, chat. We died, we died to storm one turn before we could kill them with our fair deck. This hand just needs an untapped land on three to be really, really good. All right, 26 land deck chat. Kept the two lander. How often do we miss? Every single time. Better late than never, but never late is better. Kill their land? I mean, they probably have basic shit. Oh, you're saying to make the Tarmogoyf bigger. Maybe? I guess I have two removal spells. All right, instant sorcery artifact, enchantment in the bin. I'll take their invoke away. I think we're just leaving up K Command slash Assassin's Trophy here.
R six seven's a big boy, Chet. That's a real big termagoyf, yeah? This was an awful first match to have, chat. I'm feeling... What's the word? Uh... Hope? I think? We did, like, real stuff there. Alright, our deck was really good for that match, so... This is your warning, I'm gonna give you a big copy of my face here. I feel like we all deserve a little bit of extra audio here as a treat. We, we successfully jundered them out with Boomer Midrange. We're gonna have, we're gonna have half a game of audio here. Is Goyf allowed to win in 2022? That's what we're trying to figure out. Is is this legal? Alright, so they have Metallic Rebuke. Oh my gosh, we played Jund against Storm, and now we're playing Jund against Affinity? And I have a K command? Chat! I've been hurt before! I've been afraid to love again! <laughs> I don't know how, how I'm supposed to feel! I don't- I don't know! I just- I have- I have emotions! Uh, this is definitely a spell early and I mean. Wait, I want to take the card out of their hand, right? Not the Ornithopter? Rid of your last card, kill your cranial plating, your move, Yugi boy. My tireless tracker is getting bigger, Chet. Hey, the Faith Age with the nice amount of months. Thank you for the 69 month resubscription. And welcome back. Howdy, howdy. What a, what a wonderful one for you to come in on. Extra braid, extra K command, trophy, pulse, blood chief's thirst. Um. This is probably a City Stalker out matchup. She's a little slow. I think I like Veraska being able to destroy their cranial platings. Riveter's Charm probably doesn't kill the thing I want to kill most of the time. I don't think I want to cut all the discard spells, but showing one of the Thought Seeds is probably fine. Is there anything in my sideboard I want? Maybe Ray, maybe Noxious Grasp. But I have push and thirst. I think we're fine. 
All right, let's do it. Mean this is better than going to six, right? Right? Maybe we're going to five math and stuff. These zoomer cards. Alright, maybe I do want Ravenfield, man. I forgot Esper Sentinel was a thing. This card's so offensive, chat. Oh, they have Smith too. All right, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put Raze in our deck for game three for sure. All right, so we get to snag the Nettle Assist here. We get to snag the Karn with the Thought Seize, and then we just need answers to their stuff on the board, and we go from there. Not the fatal push I wanted for Christmas. We do get to tread water here at least. All right, can we avoid fire from the top of their deck yet? That's the question. That's the question. Like a Moonstair prototype they're debating, Chandling. Did do a nettle cyst. Thought monitor's pretty good. Oh my god, I accidentally cast Thought Seize by mistake. I meant to cast Inquisition. Oh, mistakes were made. Just point and click in. I'm gonna die because of that and I'm gonna deserve it. They're about to make a bunch of treasures with Treasure Vault, I assume.
They're about to draw a bunch of cards. The one ones from Psy make the fact that I should be two life higher if I had clicked appropriately much worse. Wow, really? They didn't sacrifice treasures or draw cards there? Weird. Maybe they missed it. Hey, I think so. 24 months, 10 under. Welcome back. Hold on. We held on for a little while there. Something all, something all was quite the beating. I'm going to board down one of each. So they, they have like a number of cards that are like more than three mana that are important to be able to tag on occasion. Like tagging their Muldrifter. So I think I think I want to split the Inquisition of the Thought Seas evenly. So sometimes they can take their bigger cards. Yeah, card two. It might even be right to be three one. Most of the cards I actually want to take with discard spells cost more mana. Take the nettle cyst. I just wasn't winning that game, Fixer Shift. I was at two life and they had Thopters being generated. So like, you're, you're probably right that I was maybe not dead that turn, but I just didn't have a route to actually win the game anymore. So the glass casket's gonna get my tracker, but I have a number of ways in my deck to kill that to get it back later, and we're gonna get at least a clue off of it, so. That seems fine for us. I want a tracker before Fabled here because I want to play my land out this turn. So I'm incentivized to get the tracker going ASAP so I can generate as many clues as I can for my lands. Yeah, yeah, it takes up most of their turn here. Digging for land. If we hit the untipped land, we'll play Fable. If we miss the untipped land, we'll play Tarmogoyf. Perfect. They sacrifice this now before they see Goyf. So we have land, artifact, instant in the bin right now. Okay, so 3 4 at the moment. Hit the needle. I'm gonna name Fable the Beer Breaker or Reflection of the Kiki Jiki. That's like my only card of the activated ability, right? I guess uh, 4 mana for Aska, technically. Results. Uh, treasure and clue are not magic cards that you can name with. Um, I think you'll chip. I, I don't think Pithy Needle should be in your deck against me, but 
If it is in your deck, you definitely shouldn't be naming a card I can't legally play. Should probably be naming the Fable Limit Breaker that's on the table. I could have held the land for Tracker. Probably a mistake. Well, I'll spring before we attack, so that way if they have a counter spell, it adds a creature to the bin. to redraw that one this turn. All right, so our Jund mid-range deck has now beaten Storm and Affinity. Is Historic a playable format, chat? Is that... Not gonna be, is that gonna be something, it's something we're gonna be doing. It feels like something we're gonna be doing again. The risk at the risk of making a liar out of myself later. It's definitely it definitely seems incredibly reasonable. I mean, so the the storm deck our first opponent been playing is definitely a release day brew. The affinity deck though is one that regularly puts up results at uh, top at actual tournaments. It's been around for a little bit. It's going on here, chat. Deals four damage to our creature or planeswalker. If X damage was dealt this way, note that excess damage. Then you get a boon with when you cast your next creature spell. What? Note, note the excess damage. What a weird, what strange templating. Okay, so I, th I think I take this. It's Molten Impact and adds attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you can tell this is an arena only card because not only perpetually, but also the A in the bottom center. Tireless Tracker, play my fetch land. We've drawn almost all of our basic. My body is ready to draw the last basic out of our deck. I don't know what our opponent is doing, but it seems like killing all of their stuff is probably a good plan. They have a great henge, so I'm gonna bring in like my shatters. I can't, I can't tell if they're an aggro deck or not based on what they're doing. They could also be a goif deck. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Ronin would like imply more aggressive. I'll use some discarded just so we can get like a feel for what they have going on.
the aggressive side of this game. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing with like the. I don't know what the Garrick enchantment was doing in their hand last game. What I was most confused by. Inquisition at Thoughtseize, yep. I ain't going to grow shit. Big boy, chat. It's a big boy. Its loss will Did I just miss lethal? It wasn't lethal, but I could have forced them to chuck. I could have. Now, I could have forced them to jump block with, uh, Pelucranos. Oh, I can copy Goyf. Oh, copy Goyf is lethal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Or, I was thinking about Tracker, but the Goyf is bigger. You're right. This Tower Goyf card... Almost seems playable, chat. That'd be really embarrassing for anybody that said it probably wasn't. Good thing. Good thing we don't know anybody who said that. I think we just tapped land on one here. Favorite thing to do against Mono Red? Cast Thought Seize. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to shock to Fatal Push one of these champions, huh? It would have saved me two points of damage. Call a success or someone tries to bolt a 2 3 going for no instance in the bed. Maybe. Maybe. Mayhaps. I 
I'm shocking the fatal push. I should have I should have probably shocked the fatal push earlier this game. Oh my god, the bone crusher has haste, chat. Oh god, the bone crusher has haste. Ah, cons run. It's the bone crusher giant. So the cheapest a place that a Goyce has ever been. To be fair, Goyce pretty cheap in person, too. It's relatively cheap in paper these days. What's going on, my dude? The toilet's clogged on the top floor? Yeah, now. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with it after work. Maybe let your mother know if she's not busy. Plunging. So the 16 months master, welcome back, by the way. I what are we feeding the kids? So Declan's afraid of flushing the toilet. And 90% and of the time when he tells me the toilet's clogged, he just didn't actually push the flush handle down all the way. <laughs> it didn't go down. It okay, okay, sure. I, I believe you. This is, one of, this is the 10% time. Just in case you're actually right, don't flush it again. Leave it alone. But yeah, so half the time he like taps it, it starts to make a noise, he runs away. So like... You don't, please don't go prove that it's clogged. If it's clogged, we'll take care of it later. Uh, but my career is pretty good for us, huh? That adds, uh, adds two card types to the bin. You can sack your Bobot Courier to counter my Bone Crusher Giant opponent. I've even like taken the top off the back of the toilet and like showed him how it works and what's making the noise. It's still just like complete no go for him. Just like nopes right on out. Do you have a two three charm or go? Hey, I think getting this into play tapped has more value than has more value than getting an extra clue here before they kill this. Older son didn't want to sit on the toilet because he was afraid of getting flushed. I tied some rope to him so he could get over his fear. That's some peak parenting right there. I knew you needed my hoe. This They're not killing my goif? That seems good for us. I'm like happy to treat here. Uh, so if I trophy their ring leader, I can attack Chandra for lethal, right?
Yeah, but if I pulse, I can't fable the beer breakers. I think I'd rather go in the land. Up for debate, which is better, but I think I wanna get my enchantment into play here. Well, that was a disaster. Also, we also could have pulse plus held up trophy slash cracked the clue, which I could accept would also be a decent line. This card up to two cards. Um, what if I got rid of both of these? I kind of just like want another Goyf, right? Oh, well, I guess we're discarding one of them. Magic Arena things. That's fine. The stomp is fine. I wasn't sure I actually wanted to discard the Bone Crusher anyways. It's a big, it's a big boy, chat. That's a big boy. That's as big as he gets on this platform, right? There's no, uh, there's no tribal, tribal cards on this platform. There's a single tribal card on the platform. Really? What is it? Alter of the Goyf. It's fitting that the only tribal card is called Alter of the Goyf. Um, Tracker and Fable both reward me for holding this. So I think I'm going to chill on it for now. I need to start killing them, so I'm going to offer this trade. Get this game over with before we get Torbrand or Cleaved. Glad we're playing 26 lands. I don't think there's any reason to be as aggressive as attacking with Goyf requires me to be. Just like, hit them for eight. I have two Goyfs plus a Fatal Push on defense. They don't make me make a Tarmor Goyf during combat. I can do it at end of turn. Armor Goyf, attack for lethal. All right, now I gotta try and win a game on the draw. We do we do have like, you know, six mana, six one mana pieces of removal here. So we're not, our deck's not as bad on the draw against mono red as some others, but definitely gonna be an uphill fight.
Like, I'm playing the Fabled Passage here so I can Fatal Push their Hasted 3 drop. Really? Okay. Sick of Charmer Grave's crap, Chip. Bunch of K commands and stuff, so it's not like our grace just disappeared in this card, but I also like don't have a grace in hand at the moment, it's like not too big of a deal. It only kills non basics, right? So my mountain is safe. Also doesn't have haste. What did they give haste to? Hers here. Uh, pseudo haste this way. Feels like we're just gonna get ground out here. I should have played the tap land. I was thinking I was gonna play tracker, but then I changed my mind. It's a pretty big mistake. Desert. That, that felt like pretty peak jun chat. Had, had a bunch of answers, opponents, threats, did not line up into our answers at all, and we died absolutely horribly. They must not have had the other creatures in their hand when they played the one drop XOR. How oh, is Rhino atrocious? Playing a mid range deck that's not red black in Explorer seems like a, a huge mistake. take the Esper Sentinel and then we'll take a collected company with this then we can take the other company on curve with this I gotta try not to die on the in-between to all their flyers hold on to Fabled Passage if we can for post tireless tracker do they not have a third land? Rats. Not only did they spike their third land, but it was the color they needed to. 
They don't push sick and drop. Opponent. Maybe they don't realize they have priority because they're Linvala. Yes, this is the first time this set we cast City Stalker. We're, we're only playing two of them. We've got City Stalker and Raska split 2 2 at the top end. to draw a removal spell for Bishop so we can kill Linvala without giving them a 1-1. Bought another land yet. Does that, does that work out for us? Okay. Doom Blades on deck matchup chip. Discard spells out. We just want everything that kills everything. Although honestly, Bone Crusher doesn't really kill much of their stuff, right? Maybe that's one we don't keep in. Oh, it kills uh it kills Esper Sentinel, which I care about. Alright, you stay. You stay, good sir. And it's going on revert. Nice. It's weird that Twitch gave you problems on the Fire TV. That's an Amazon product, right? Lessons work like tribal spells for Goyf. I don't know, actually. Do lessons count as a card type for Goyf? Anybody? They might. Can someone explain to me why tribal is different than things like lessons? Is it an arbitrary distinction on Wizards of the Coast part? Why why do they have that distinction there? It's it's subtype versus super type, right? Is the is the distinction? Yeah, but like why why have a distinction? It's arbitrary what counts as super normal and sub. Okay. Because tribal is a kind of rule sack to get creature types that are not... Oh, because tribal gives subtypes. That makes sense. Like, if I want to kill Esper Sentinel, I have to let them draw a card. If I want to Maelstrom Pulse this, I have to let them draw a card. 
from Esper Sentinel. It's just, it's all bad shit. Oh, I guess I can attack with this if I wanted to, but that doesn't seem great, right? So that flipped in and out. I think I'm gonna fatal push Thalia and then attack with these, get the treasure, Maelstrom Pulse, the Shaper Sanctuary, question mark? Do I think I can kill them before they spend all of these cards? Hey, what's going on? The one, James, thanks for the raid. I'm playing a little historic at the moment. I mean, they have six cards in their hand. So do I want to keep feeding them cards by killing their creatures? Or do I want to take a, st a second off to kill this? I probably want to... Yeah, leaving Bishop up does gain a lot of life. That's why I think maybe we're just supposed to race. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed him cards. We have the reflection with the Tarmogoyf. Let's just, let's just try and kill them before they spend the cards. This is a 5-6 now. So this actually works well against Lin Vala's ability, right? Because if they if they want to sack Lin Vala to give indestructible, they then have to sack the Bishop of Wings. And it doesn't trigger Shaper Sanctuary, which is great. The Bishop's just so much life gain here. They're going to go like land three drop three drop okay just another linvala Like, I can't kill Bishop because of Linvala. So I think we're going Tracker into land. So we're no longer clueless. And then we pass with the ability to copy Goyfin into turn. And now, unfortunately, their Bishop has just bought them enough time that we're not going to be able to kill them before they play through these cards. So probably up a creek. They could, they could be a little flooded here. He didn't, uh, didn't have a company last turn. I'm going to spend my treasure token to copy the Termogoyf. It's really bad, Moose. It's been out like a month now. We're several patches in. That's an incredible draw. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I think we make another goif, and then we just swing for uh, twenty-two here, right? And they can save Bishop with Linvala, but they have to save it by giving it Hexproof and not Indestructible, so then it'll die instead of combat. Did I like? Hope we didn't roll him into Collected Company.
And sagging Linvala will give them another 1-1. One, one. We just, we need to pressure the bishop off the board this turn so they can stop getting life on us. Although I guess they can go, they can go to two, right? They go block, block, and then bounce off the two, two. I use these two lands to draw, draw this. If they go angel, angel next turn, they're still super in it, right? Because unfortunately both these book tokens are going away. Second angel is lethal. Wow, they're still just Brick City, huh? It's a good beat for us. I don't want to give them a draw, another draw at Collecting Company. We were super lucky to win that game. Opponent flooded very, very hard. Their start was also really good. Their first few cards are good, but like after that, they just kind of flooded. Yeah, Vra Vraska's pretty good with both the, the treasures and the, and the clue tokens. Is. Yep. This hand is more than good. It's great. This means they can get to play Tarmogoyf before we start killing their stuff. They don't have anything till three. That's so good for us. I feel like them taking it slow and steady is a win for us. See how it plays out. Discard our least flexible removal spells. Tap land's a little sad. I wanted to Vraska and Ray this turn. I guess we'll just go... I guess we'll Noxious Grasp now, huh? Because it's a little bit more resource efficient. And then we'll go tap land. We'll collect a treasure. Yeah, four mana, four cards in hand, and no plays. Pretty unlucky. Attack if this and this. Wow, actually unlucky. That's sick for us. What if they were sitting on like counter spells or something? Could be right to draw with this here too. Kill there. I was gonna ray whichever one they didn't sacrifice, but weird that they sacrificed that one. They really, they really didn't want us to have a 2-2 two -two chip. All right. Feels like we're in garbage time at this point. What's going on, Sirapu? If you've resubbed, sometimes you have to refresh your browser page or whatnot um, to send the notification through if it's not the first month. Because the notification hasn't popped up on my Twitch feed either. So I assumed you like did the did the sub or whatnot, but I haven't actually said, hey, I subscribed and attached a message yet. 
so. Opponent flooded and died. Their deck's also a creature deck with no card selection though, so it's pretty prone to flooding and dying. I, I assume they were just on like a bunch of air, right? It just had to be. So they weren't on counter spells and they weren't on creatures. Yeah, yeah, but like Soul Shatter, they choose when they're tied. Both are things that mana value, mana value through there. Thanks everybody hanging out this afternoon, by the way. Great to have over a thousand people in here for some magic. Uh, we've had a number of new followers. Welcome on in. If you haven't checked it out before, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. I do uh, magic, Marvel Snap, Pokemon Unite, a lot of different strategy games, a lot of card games here. If you're into that sort of thing, this is a good channel for you. As far as Magic Arena is concerned, we play all constructed here, usually 60, 60 or 80 card formats, depending on where Yorian is available. Um, mostly been playing Explorer and Historic lately, although when Standard and Alchemy seem worth playing, we do poke in on those on occasion as well. I think I want to Inquisition here on one. This is our third deck of the day. We played a couple of Explorer decks with the new cards before this. Wonderful one to snipe there. If you miss anything and want to catch up later after the fact, everything I stream ends up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland. There's a bunch of playlists on the front page there that, uh, for every format that we play. I think I want to play this tapped so we can get Fabled Passage down next turn. E to the Archive. Okay. They're like big, big mana. These fatal pushes will kill Nissa lands at least, which is great. They draft a card from the archives here and they discard a card. They discarded, they must have been real bad there. They discarded K-Grip, that was the one they picked. There could be merit to playing Charmergoyf holding Fatal Push this turn or Charmergoyf tap land just so we have something to pressure the Nissa with right away. But getting getting the chapters turning on this has value as well. Rise, my elemental friend. The year is 2022 when given the choice between casting Charmergoyf or Fable of the Mirror Breaker, you choose the latter. Yeah, but why would you hurt me in this way? What did, I, what did I ever do to you? Thanks for ditching tracker here. Definitely fatal pushing the land and then attacking Nissa. I'm gonna shock this in and play my Goyf so I can fatal push their Nissa land without uh, having to burn my treasure token. This is the part where they like drew an Ugin or an Ulamog. They have nine, so they have uh, 11 mana here. And they did have two draw steps. I have a lot of ramps, so I imagine there's some big colorless bomb coming of our way. Torment of Hailfire. <laughs> yep. So that's four, and I can lose life four times.
So we need to draw a removal spell for this so I can kill this one. And we drew a land. That's unfortunate. So good meat. They drew their payoff card in the the one turn window before we could get them. We'll be a little bit luckier in this next game. City Stalker seems okay here. They have a lot of high impact cards. Um, Inquisition actually seems a little middling, huh? Well, I, guess, I guess it takes Torment to Hellfire. Bone Crusher. The ninja's a 3-3, three, three, right? Yeah. Aid could be okay. Kills Nissa Lands. This shatters the ramp, which is nice. I guess these did kill Nissa lands, but ideally we're just killing the Nissa faster. Making commands a little just too slow. The feeling of regret you have when your Jun deck sees a Ugin with the Thought Seize, huh? It's like, I made a bunch of choices to get here and I regret some of them. Some of the Wilds is a good top deck and then naturally we'll miss our land drop. We're not like 0% at this point, but we're pretty close when we miss the land. We got to play like our cards on curve. Maybe we have an okay shot there, but. Yeah, I bet the red black deck's good enough that even if you mess it up by splashing Siege Rhino, you, you're still fine. We tried, we tried to play Abzian Rhino today and it was just so much worse than playing the red black deck in large part due to reflection of the Kikijiki being so good. Yeah, I don't know how that last opponent's deck ever plays the Junstorm deck, or beats the Junstorm deck. If you missed the Junstorm deck we played yesterday or the day before, I assume that that is just like the freest pile of MMR on the ladder right now. A bunch of people playing mediocre brews, ourselves included. Main deck unlicensed terse. I'd ask who hurts you, but the answer is this Tarmogoy right here. I think I'm shattering the hearse and then do I discard a card from the hand or do I shock the Nettlesis token? I think I discard a card from their hand, right? And then we hope that Vraska can clean up the Nettlesis next turn. Uh, all the alchemy cards are in this format, Kyle. We're playing Historic. Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf's not explore legal. It's 
smack him with Goyf. There's a good chance that that'll just turns into a 4 4 next turn, anyways. here. Still makes the goyf big enough to block. Until you have lived in the statue, do not attack me. Hit me. Push this Karn Golem off a cliff. Yeah, chat. I'm pushing. I'm pushing their artifact. I'm aware there's a land in the bed. Got a sewers, a nice draw. This for the last card in their hands. Also has Death Touch to deal with the Germ Token. here they draw the moose we can Vraska kill the nettle sis crack them for eight they equip the nettle cyst I probably just killed the germ deck seemed fine so far war div our guys our guys consistently been like a three four or bigger which is like fine for a deck like this it's been a four five and a five six a lot of games too Did get to a seven eight one of the games. That's true. <laughs> I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Why don't I disappear? And we can abyss them next turn. I guess I, I guess I can trade for the city stalker connoisseur technically not quite an abyss but close they can cast this because booster prototype can diddle the diddle cyst token oh, that's nice They're actually playing Razor Titan Bridge. I hope they get Divine Purged or Farewelled. I just want bad things to happen to people playing bad cards. I like some discard spells in this matchup. Six is probably too many. Like four, somewhere between three to five, I think. I want all of our Shatters. Um... I think Stalker was okay there, but I feel like it's probably a little bit too slow on average. I like Braska for killing the miscellaneous artifact things, and then Charm is probably not good. At least Divine Purge, they can still replay it. Yeah, you just lose a ton of tempo, right? Still isn't great.
I like when bad things happen and people play bad cards. We've got four goyfs in our deck, friend. No, yeah, listen, if you've been watching this stream, I got Torment of Hailfire. Bad things are happening to us too, okay? Did you not just see the Torment of Hailfire for nine come off the top of their deck? I'm dying by the sword I'm living by, okay? It was a solid run for sure. Is there been a Kali Tuss deck yet? Yeah, we died with Kali Tuss and Explorer. We tried, we tried to play Amzan mid range and Explorer, and it was real bad. But if your goal is to just play Kalitas, uh, Kalitas slots very cleanly into the best deck at Explorer by a wide margin, and that is Red Black Mid Range. We're typically not a best deck stream, so I don't expect to be doing that here anytime soon, but just a good general note for anybody that just wants to play good cards and good decks. This hand's a little on the slow side. Maybe I'm supposed to be a mulligan. I've got a stomp at least. And their hand is also on the slow side, so deal, I guess. I think opinion is worth playing over the other planes. Yeah, I think so. Veraska also just hasn't been bad. Like, the cards we'd be replacing with other planeswalkers if we weren't playing Wellspring would be Veraska and um, City Stalker Connoisseur, and both of those cards have been like super playable. Ooh, it is worth noting here. Their bridge is the only reason I can't stomp this Nettle Cyst. Right on time, Thoughtseize. Welcome to the party. Though the Herald deck definitely doesn't want Kali to us. I agree that the Herald deck is very good, but that one does not want that card. Alright, so three shots and an untapped land to... Kill this nettle cyst. All right, hit on the first try. You love to see it. Do I want a second fable or a tracker? I think I'd rather have second fable. Untapped land that doesn't hurt me as a welcome upgrade. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with that. We're going to win or lose before Tracker has a chance to do its thing. A razor tight bridge making your smith more consistent is somewhat appealing to. I think we're just probably a little bit too far behind on board now at this point. Let's have so many cards in their hands. Uh, one mana mall drifter is pretty busted. It's binding consideration for the Vraska slot. I just don't think we leverage the extra mana well enough. Vraska's like also been good. We have like we have like a bunch of miscellaneous artifact tokens that we don't mind sacrificing to Vraska. It's probably worth testing binding at the top end, but and, uh, from a pure game theory standpoint, I prefer, I think the Vrask is better. I'm also, I've also played enough magic to know that like it could, you could play it and conclude that you like it more. Could see that being a thing.
empty silence of Magic Arena being a smoldering. If you listen very closely, Chet, you can hear the Magic Arena dumpster fire smoldering through the lack of audio. See, I could go either way. I think I'm gonna keep it on the play, but no removal spell till Vraskon 4 could definitely be something that bites us here. I do have Thought Seize to disrupt their curve a little bit, potentially. All right, time to grind. Their hand is not particularly fast, so. Fable into, uh, into Raska looking appealing. The artifact lands do mean that Elsa's token's a 3-3 three -three right away, so it looks like it blocks this, so... I just don't think Stitcher's supplier is good enough. The graveyard's like a contested enough zone that like you have to be doing something really busted with a card like that for it to be good. I just don't think anything you just listed is busted enough. So definitely Vraska killing the Nettle Sis this turn gives us an attack with this to generate a treasure token. And then next turn, we have Tracker into Fabled Passage into Blood Chief's Thirst the Germ, at least. Oh, gosh. Vraska could even sacrifice the Kiki-Jiki tokens, too, which is kind of sick. Tracker. I'm probably not going to have time to use all of these clues, right? Do we think that's an accurate statement? I think I'd rather sacrifice a clue than a treasure here. Yeah, but, like, I'm also going to, like, like, we're going to sack this clue. Uh, actually, I guess we sack it now, right? Because I could draw a discard spell. Alright. And Vraska is just, like, Doomblade sitting on board. I'm even going to get to, I'm going to get to Reflection of the Kiki Jiki, my tracker, before I play my land next turn to make two clues with it. Yes, the tracker does still get bigger when you eat the clue with Vraska, is accurate. And I can I can pay for this thanks to the treasure token. And then we'll sack a uh, sack one of these. Draw a card. All right, or this game this game is super over. We had all. It turns out being on the play is really good. Chat. Who'd have, who'd have thunk it? Being on the play is pretty, pretty good. How's the Goyf experiment going? Far better than expected. There's going to be more Tarmogoyf on this channel. We'll be definitely playing another Tarmogoyf deck tomorrow. I think I want to try Teamer with Dragon Rage Chandler and um, 
What's the connive Dorco? Darcy, Goyf, and the connive idiot? The two drop? Ledger Shredder, yeah, that one. The, bust, the one that's busted in a turtle form. That's. Hey, hey, that's awesome, Kevin. Really happy for the two of you. Hope everything is smooth and normal throughout the rest of it for you. And you have a healthy, healthy baby and baby mom. Very exciting. Inquisition on one, you know, Inquisition and the tap plane Inquisition. <laughs> All right, well, we're not playing Inquisition next turn either. I'm the bad man. Duh. Certainly, certainly the bad guy here, chat. Certainly the bad guy. Oh, glimpse the unthinkable. Got added to this format, right? I forgot there was a new milk card. Magic players love milling jet way more than they should. Mill mill decks get played proportionally way more than they ever should based on their power level. We're obviously not attacking yet. We'll wait till we get this up to a fifth point of defense. Tirelessly, Wadakiss. We are we are tracking. We are tracking. It's a very good standard format. Attacking and blocking mattered a ton. The the Bant deck that generated big board states, like really, really good permutations of combat, always. Hey Robbie, thank you for the five months. I appreciate the prime. Welcome back. So, you didn't necessarily have to be playing a good deck to enjoy that standard format. I just think formats where combat matters tend to be more fun. So that, that format was enjoyable in my opinion because the best deck cared about attacking and blocking. I forget what I was playing in that format. I have to go back and look. I think I was playing spell queller piles that weren't banned. Liked like me some queller. My kingdom for the playable Archangel Amazon to have been in this format. So the the one that we got. 
Yeah, flippy, flippy Everson was my gym. Guess we'll sack this. If we hit a fatal push, we can push the betrayer. Oh, I guess I could have just Riveter's Charmed there is the same thing. We hit, we hit the push like a professional, but I probably should have just Charmed. They can, they can bring this back tap, but obviously it's tapped, so. Let's uh, crack them for eight here, force the Rune Crab off the table. Hey, Ganymede, rise up like our friend the Tireless Tracker. Thanks for the entire year. Let's get you started to go with that shield. Welcome back. Wrench. Plenty of cards in our deck. Only one creature in our bin. It's kind of funny. Wait, for each creature card in your opponent's graveyard. All right, so we can step on this. And then we can Riveter's Charm them plus Charmagoyf. I guess I can draw with the blood token here, actually. Because if that hits a another removal spell, we kill them this turn, so we'll go for lethal. And if we we miss, we still get to Gwave because we have five mana available. We're so good at this shit. really know what they're doing uh i guess their thing coming back from the graveyard was kind of annoying so we'll bring in soul guides and these we'll bring in the i probably want to be able to kill the crab so cheap spells that do that sound good k command doesn't really seem like it does a lot uh, actually bone crusher doesn't really kill anything they were doing right city stalker kind of sort of seems slow maybe i want bone crusher just for the the 4-4 four -four angle i can see that being the case they did they did have um they did have the immortal sun could be a card they have a couple copies of so maybe i want to leave some k commands is just to shatter in my deck like eats a card out of their hand too a lot of their cards were like more expensive so maybe inquisition's not as good all right let's try this they're if they're milling us um K Command also picks creatures back up out of our bins. That gives us a little bit of card selection slash advantage. It's been good, West. Termer, I, I genuinely was not expecting Termagoyf to feel playable, and it's been super reasonable throughout the entire, entire set today. We're closing it on. Uh, two hours in this set. I'm just going to keep the threats. I expect they're going to mill me a land, so I'm going to bottom the Fabled Passage. We'll go uh, Goyf into Bone Crusher into Let's Go. I have some regrets bottoming the Fable Passage. 
Oh, that was it, Marty. Okay. I, was like, I, I felt like I was missing something because I didn't see a creature in there. I was getting buffed by the Recursion Dorks Award. Is accurate. Ho, hi, ho. It's off to Bone Crush we go. Oh, you know, we did see Psychic Crush out of them. Maybe I, uh, maybe I should have had, I didn't, I don't think I boarded my trophy of my Maelstrom Pulse in. We'll do that for the, we'll do that for the, uh, the next game, if there is one. Still swamps in my deck. We'll do this. I'll go find a swamp. We'll blood chiefs thirst this. Yeah, having a random Eldrazi Titan when you cared about mills, definitely. Was definitely a real thing. Kill the corrosion here. We just chill. Yeah, Braska's been genuinely good. We only we only added her in because of we needed something that met the wellspring condition, but like she's been phenomenal. Definitely don't feel like I've missed uh, the other, like, double color planeswalkers. We just let her go. Hey, JRC. Thanks for the sub gift. That's super generous. Happy, uh, happy Thursday. Happy Anthology release day. All right, so this gives minus equal number of creature cards in my graveyard. So I want to start exiling my creatures from here. Legend roll doesn't apply to permanents you control. Cute. So they get multiple... They get multiple King Nefari. We're, we are definitely the bad guy. I agree. It's a villain in every story. In today's story, we are the villain. We are definitely no longer clueless yet. Many, many things you could say about us, but Clueless is not one of them. Winning, winning the race is one of the things we are at the moment, so that's nice. Okay. Nefari has taken flight. Oh, I expected Tracker to feel okay. The, the floor on a card that says draw card versus like win the game on the spot if they fail the removal check is like pretty high. So I felt I'm not I am not surprised the tracker seems playable. As I was expecting that one. And then we just put them to two here so that way they die to the stomp next turn, right? I 
Things out here in Afari. Oh, these gotta be on the same graveyard. Okay, and your other thing. Um, I should thought seize so I don't die to something by mistake here, right? It's like check for a sweeper or something. All right, chat. It is f quarter after five almost. I've been live for almost eight hours. The audio has died yet again. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Uh, I was, I'm glad we built and played this one. This deck was really sweet. We played this deck for uh, almost two hours. If you missed any of it and want to catch you after the fact, it'll be up on my YouTube channel. We had a successful and a not so successful Explorer decks today that will end up on the YouTube channel as well here in a little bit. We also played a little bit of Marvel Snap this morning. If you're into that sort of thing, uh, I'll be back by 9 a.m. Central tomorrow morning. We're going to play three Magic decks, uh, probably two Explorer and one Historic again. I think we're going to brew a uh, uh, Teamer Tarmogoyf for Historic tomorrow. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to do in Explorer. We'll take a look ski poo. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you again sometime I think looks like Jim Davis just signed on so I'm gonna go ahead and send a host his way He's good people go check him out. Hopefully some of you back again tomorrow